Okay, today at Fraser Motor Car Company, we are reviewing a 1970 Mercedes 280 SL Pagoda Top Car. This car was sold new in Nashville, Tennessee. It's about a two owner car. The last owner's 20 some years. Spent about $50,000 on it within the last decade. Just refreshing it and you will see it looks spectacular. Here we are, a green 280 SL. Look how she sits, even and up. Beautiful, beautiful paint, beautiful body, nice lines. Nice chrome. I've seen no indication of rust history on this car. Again, as I stated, it's a southern car. I want to point out how straight those sides are on the car. We're going to put it on the lift and you will see. Just beautiful. Nice and straight across the top door. Gaps are lovely. Right work, pretty, not pitted. Lenses are clean and nice. Nice straight sides again. And uh, does have a air conditioning that was just refurbished, works great. Nice straight dash, no cracks, good wood. Steering wheel has no cracks in it. Sun visors are tight. Seats are up. Carpets are nice. Again, nice gaps. Nice hood gap. All of this is nice, not pitted. It's a really nice example of a 280SL. Look how good those gaps are. Look at the reflection in the paint. Start it up for you. It starts up right away. All the gauges are good. We'll go for a drive. It's going to be real windy today, but we're going to do it. Starts right up. Levers work. Movable, correct radio, clock, the light in the, in the glove box works. And nice clean nice clean engine compartment. This $50,000 spent a few years ago was both for mechanical and cosmetics. See the new air conditioning hoses, nice heat pad. Trunk is clean. Again, nice gaps. Let's see if she's got tools. Oh yeah, we got all the books. Original books, radio, tools. Uh, not exactly in a tool roll up there. Nice clean trunk, look at that. It's beautiful. Back of the deck lid's nice. Well, let's take this car for a drive on this windy day. Gotta like this. What a pretty collar combination. Again, we have the hard top 
but the hard top's not present. Still in the garage, but it comes with a car and it's in excellent condition as the rest of the car is. I like this. Any Mercedes owner likes this. No pressure, no push, just thump. All right, we'll go for it. All right, here we are with the soft top up. Soft top's in great condition. Beautiful color combination, of course. Soft top looks brand new. The hard top's not on campus during this video, but we've got the correct Pagoda hard top that's in great condition. It's just not here. Car's always lived in Nashville, so it's not a rusty car. It's a good Southern States car. Sold new at Madison's, Madison Smith. Franchise Mercedes store at that time. So that color is a nice offset. All right, we're on the undercarriage of the 1969 280SL. Very solid, original undercoating from Mercedes. Uh, the normal rust prone areas are solid. This is a southern car, just not rusty. And normally rust through here, it's solid. Of course, all the frame rails are solid. No rust in here or down this floor pan. Rockers. A rust over in here. This is solid. It's original. So again, the original Mercedes undercoating. Just no rust on this car. I have a tendency to rust along here. The original pop rivets are there, spot welds are here. Nice Michelin tires. Pull it down to eye level and we'll go over it. Okay, we're at eye level on the 280SL. Uh, we can see all the bright work is clean, sharp, not scratched, not pitted, not scarred. Grill is in great shape without flaw. Headlight, headlight doors, clean, nice. Come around the side, one of the main things that attracted me to this car was those aluminum doors. Just look how straight they are. Razor straight. No rust on this car, no rust history that I can see. Rocker panels are good. Paint's spectacular on this car. Again, nice set of Michelin tires. Uh, original headlight buckets, no rust back up in here. Again, straight down the side. Look at that. Beautiful. Original undercoating here on the, wind, on the wheel well openings from Mercedes. No pitting here over the exhaust pipe where they normally gets pitted. Correct filler cap. No rust down in here where they normally rust. No rust in the deck lid. Gap is good all the way across. Good lenses, here's a small hairline crack. Just straight and nice. There you go.